What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here, welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So I had a few different videos planned that I've been working on, but unfortunately they've all kind of fallen through, uh, which is why I haven't uploaded in a while, so this is going to be a quick one. But uh, essentially this is another way of installing package files on your PS4. Obviously you need to install package files to get basically anything installed on your PS4, your dumped PS4 games, media apps, emulators, homebrew apps, and obviously PS1 and PS2 games that you can run with the built-in backwards compatibility. So everything you install is via package files. So having multiple ways of installing package files on the PS4 is pretty useful. I've shown a few of them in the past, obviously. The main way of installing the package files is via putting them on a USB drive and then installing them with the, uh, the package installer in the debug settings. And then obviously there's other ways, for example, there's the remote package installer, but it doesn't really work properly on 7.55 because it's not been properly updated. But on older jailbreaks, you can send package files over your network with the remote package installer through HTTP. And obviously you can do it through FTP as well by copying package files into the data folder using FTP and then using the internal package installer homebrew app uh, by 0x199 which uh, will then install them on the PS4. So a few different ways there, but uh, not long ago, Slayer's Gorvi came out with another method of installing package files, this time through a payload. So you send the package file as a payload and it will install on your PS4, which is kind of an interesting way of doing it. Now, I think this will become more useful once we actually have a method of running payloads from a homebrew app instead of having to go on to the webkit to load the payloads. And there's two people working on that right now, Al Aziv and Jose Gonzalez, but uh, they're not fully released yet. So once that comes out, this should be more useful because you'll be able to send the package files this met with this method without having to go on the webkit and go through the webkit exploit. But obviously, since that's not out yet, I'm going to have to do it here through the browser. So first thing you need to do for this method is go into your system settings, system information, get your PS4's IP address. And then once you've got that, we can then go onto the internet browser, load up your exploit host, whichever one you're using. Uh, obviously, caro218.ir is a good one. Night King's host is a good one. The Wolf Games host is uh, is a good one. So there's there's lots of different hosts that you can go to. I'll probably link a few of them down in the video description. So yeah, so the only issue with this obviously is that you have to go through this WebKit exploit every time you want to load a payload. So it's not the most useful thing for installing package files right now when you have to go through this. Once you can actually load payloads from a homebrew app, then it will eliminate the need to do this apart from when you first have to load, you know, Hen or Mira in order to jailbreak the PS4 in the first place. So anyway, once we get on here, we can head on to the latest jailbreak and obviously run your hen or mira before you try and do this technically because this sends via a payload you might actually be able to install the payloads without having to run hen or mira first uh, the only issue with that though is that you still need hen or mira running in order to actually install fake package files so retail package files typically will install if you have some method of installing them uh, without running hen or mira but any fake package files will just show as corrupted. They won't install unless you have Hen or Mira running first. So run your Hen, run your Mira. Once you've done that, when you go back onto the exploit host a second time, uh, you shouldn't have any issues with the with the system crashing uh, when trying to load the jailbreak because the jailbreak's already loaded at that point when you're doing this for the second time, when you come back in here after running Hen or Mira in order to install a package file via payload. Uh, then you shouldn't have any crashes once Hen or Mira is already running. So it'll just take you straight back in here again. And we can then use the bin loader. So we run the bin loader and that says waiting for payload, send payload on port 9021. So from there, we just switch on over to the computer and we use the sender.exe from Slayer's Gorvi to send the package file. The way we do this is we just grab the package file, we drag it over the exe and let go and then click run, then it'll ask you for your PS4's IP address and you just enter it in here, hit enter and there you go, it sends it. As you can see here, launching payload and added to downloads app.package and then it will then install that onto our PS4. 
Oh, there we go. I guess we'll just wait for it to say ready to use. And that's how you know it's done. You can check the progress on the actual command line as well. Package transmitted successfully. So obviously if it's showing, you know, I think it shows how many bytes have been transferred as it's transferring it. So you can keep an eye on it on the computer to see if it's a big package file, like how long it's going to take. But as you can see, this is a quite a small package file. So it copied over no problem. And if we head back here, you can see Minecraft is now installed. We can run it and see if it's running. I always just use Minecraft because it's a small package file that's uh, easy to test. And as you can see, it is running there, no problem. So uh, obviously it's not ideal, but I think once we actually get some, some homebrew apps that can run payloads, uh, Alizev is working on one. Like I say, Jose Gonzalez appears to be working on one as well, uh, where you can just run a homebrew app and then run a payload from there. So, you know, once that's the thing and you don't have to go through the WebKit exploit to load a payload, I feel like this will become more useful. But again, it's just another way of installing payloads. So if you have issues with, say, getting FTP working, so you can't use the internal package installer, or if you have issues with, you know, any of the other methods of installing package files, then this is another option. Uh, the other good thing about this as well is with other methods like the internal package installer, you still have to like manually copy the package file over FTP. So you have to connect to uh, the PS4 via FTP with like FileZilla or something, and then navigate to the data folder, copy the package file in, then run the internal package installer to install the package file. Then once the package file is installed, you can then ha you then have to delete the original package file from the data folder. So there's a lot of like manual stuff that you have to do with some of these other methods, whereas this method is actually quite simple. You run a payload and then you just drag the package file on top of the executable, type in your IP, press enter and boom, it sends the package file, installs it. I believe it deletes the original package file afterwards, at least I certainly hope it does. Um, and then you should be good. So, so it's actually quite a simple process. The only downside obviously is that you have to go through the WebKit right now in order to use it. But once that's no longer a requirement, it should become more useful. So yeah, there you go, guys. Another handy way of installing package files. So hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next one.